Welcome, so today we're going to take you through setting up the device preparation policies for Autopilot V2, which really isn't too bad and is pretty quick actually. So you see here I'm going to go into the device preparation policy section that many of us will be familiar with from Intune. Now this is right inside that device enrollment section. So I'm going to hit create, and the process itself is relatively easy. So you're going to name it. Now the device group section piece is a little confusing and it's not real clear. So let's help make it simple. So what you actually have to do is you got to create a group. We'll call this Intune Device Preparation. And here's the key. You don't, don't do a dynamic group. It has to be just a security group. And you only have to do one thing. You're going to go into Owners. Search for Intune, and for most people, it's going to end up being this Intune Autopilot Confidential Client uh, name. And what you really want to look for is you just want to make sure whatever you find, it matches this GUID ending in 7952C. So what you'll do is you'll select that, you'll hit Create, and that's literally all you have to do for that device group. Because if you don't do, if you do anything and you deviate from that at all, it's not going to work. So now I'm going to search for Intune. We can see Intune device preparation, which might take a minute because we just created it. There we go. So then in the next section here. I'm going to keep all this user-driven, single-user. You're going to see here we can't really change any of it. Enter join. So I'm going to leave all this. And then here I'm going to go in and I'm going to add, so I'll add some apps. So I'll add like, you know, Windows 365, Okta. You know, just some basic stuff. So really we're just, we're trying to kind of get to where we're going. Okay, so we select our apps. Uh, you can do the same thing for scripts, but I'm not going to add any scripts here. You go next, next, and then you decide who you're going to assign it to. Say we'll go all users, but you can really kind of do however you want to do it. You're going to hit next, and you're going to hit save. And if you did it correctly, it's going to go in and it's going to look great and nice and pretty like that. And then the next piece that you're going to end up doing is going to be going in to add the device corporate identifiers. Now this can actually be really, really tricky. But the good news is I, I found a really easy way of doing this um, through working through somebody's blog. Okay. So basically, I'll show you right here. This is the code. Um, so I'm from Peter Van, Van Der Wood, but it's pretty basic, right? So essentially what you end up doing is you're going to pull the information about the device straight out of the BIOS, like this, and you're going to allow it to basically create that CSV for you. And you can see here what it's doing is it's getting the manufacturer, model, and serial number, which is all you actually need to achieve this. So by getting those three small pieces of information, we'll execute this, and this will actually create the CSV we're going to use for the import. Okay, now that ISC woke up, I'm just going to hit the play button. It creates that file. And now, if we go back here, we hit add, upload CSV manually. The, the thing, the key, the key here is that you can only do CSV uploads for Windows, so you can't do a manual add. And while they're looking for his manufacturer model and serial number, which is what we do with that little code from Peter. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to upload the file. We hit add. And 
This will take just a minute. Okay, you can see it's been added successfully. See, it looks a little weird, but basically, yeah, it's the make model serial. So it put, pops all the information right in. One thing to keep in mind is that if you're using regular autopilot, you're going to have to go back and un unring the bell because auto, regular autopilot V1 will take precedence over this. But, yep, really, it's just that simple. Then you'll just take your device and in our next demo, we're going to show you what the whole user experience around V2 is all about.